Mayweather would say it's called prize fighting. It's the reason why prize comes before fighting. You go see, go go for the prize. That's what the prize is. Number two, in order to fight, because man, he's a legend, he's an icon, is because that's what a competition is. The reason why he can make the most money over there is because that's what a comp is. Yeah. That's where the hardware is. So why does Manny Pacquiao do it, Bud Crawford? And for people say, well, man, you just said, be careful how you talk about black people. Now you call him Bud a fuck boy. Here's the thing about us being us as people. We can have a conversation about each other. Me calling him a fuck boy is about the business move, the moves he makes. And it's only because he's claiming to be the victim in the situation. He's claiming everybody's ducking him. He's claiming, well, I should get most of the money. So he, he's a fuck boy because he's insulting my intelligence. Mm. He's mm. insulting my intelligence. Like, okay, so Spence fights the better opposition, the bigger names, the better resume. He's been there longer. He's got more hardware than you got. But you, you got better pay-per-view numbers. He's done more more pay-per-views. He did more in one pay-per-view than you did in both your pay-per-views combined. But you deserve 50-50, and you deserve uh, to be the A-side. Why? Why? Because of what you did at 140? Josh, hold on. So same logic. Josh Taylor is the undisputed champion. Rain Magazine. He's all, and same thing Bud was at 140. If Josh Taylor fights Javante Davis, or if he fights Earl Spence, who's the A-side? Javante Davis. And Earl Spence. And guess what? Josh Taylor would take both of those fights. You know why? Because Josh Taylor not a fuckboy. And he's white, and you're black, and I'm saying it. I'm saying it. And it's not out of disrespect. It's out of respect. Because Bud is too good to be a fuckboy. He's too good. And is is no, you cannot be that dumb to not see what's happening. And let me tell you how Andre Ward and Timothy Bradley know he a fuck boy. Notice when it was easy to, to had to hide behind that smoke and that mirage, it was all cap. Oh, Earl, Earl Spencer need to do this, Earl Spencer need to do that. You don't hear them niggas saying shit now, do you? Mm-mm. You know why they ain't saying nothing? And, and when they do say something, they it, it sounds sympathetic, like God damn, you know. Yeah, like, well, yeah, but because they, they know he made the wrong moves, yeah. and even Andre Ward said, "Well, hey, let's be honest, Earl Spence has made better business decisions." He's he even said it. He said it on the ESPN broadcast. He said it, and so now you got Joe Tessitore and all the other fuck boys on ESPN with top rank still lying. But the reason why Bradley and Ward have backed off. Being hold supportive your, of it. Go hold ahead. your thought. Hold your thought. You got it? Yeah. I was listening to the ESPN uh, broadcast, Joe Tessitore, and I heard what you said calling us acolytes and sycophants. Fuck you for that. Because that was some yeah. bullshit. We know what you yeah. were doing.